So right now I am in Marissa in South Sri Lanka and today we're gonna try to go to this other town like an hour and a half away called Hikadua which is 90 minutes that way but it's a tricky day because I don't know if you can hear it but there's like protests going on all over the streets right now about the political situation I think we're gonna be fine because we're tourists so we'll give this a shot It's our private tuk-tuk driver Kumar sir Mikhail from the Netherlands coming with me mainly because I'm scared of going by myself alone <laughs> today in the middle of all the protests. So we've arrived in Hikadua, which is a very popular tourist town in South Sri Lanka and it's famous for like very big surfable waves, but it's also famous for turtles, which is why we are here. I don't exactly know what that was, but clearly turtles are not the only wildlife you're gonna find on the beaches of Sri Lanka. I've actually come across big colorful snakes multiple times on many different occasions. It was way too bright for us to film earlier, so we just went back into town and tried some hoppers and made a food vlog about that, but now we're back and we're gonna try to feed the turtles. is still pretty choppy and the waves are pretty big but we managed to feed some turtles or like interact with them a little bit so now we're gonna move on to the next stop which is another beach town looks like some protests on the street got kind of violent so they burned uh, part of the street down and we had to like take our tuk-tuk around and now we're like going around next to these tra tracks. So for the second stop in the video, we're back in Mirissa and we're at Mirissa Beach, which is a really pretty beach with an iconic surf spot. But today we're gonna explore some of the more interesting things down the coastline of Mirissa Beach. So right on the edge of Mirissa Beach is this cool little island almost called Parrot Rock Bridge which is uh, right on the beach but you can sort of like walk onto it through this little channel and climb to the top which I'm not excited about because I'm carrying a lot of heavy camera stuff. So this is the little sand channel. So this one part has bamboos and stuff. It's a little bit tricky to climb, especially with a heavy camera. Tricky, but not that hard. So once you do make it to the top, it is a really sick view. Looks a lot like Hawaii. but we're gonna try to get 
shots from another spot that's really close by called Coconut Hill. So I've been in this town for like two months. And I had no idea there was like a surf spot over here. So I think we finally made it to Coconut Tree Hill, probably the most Instagram spot of South Sri Lanka. A peacock on the side of the road. Right now I'm going to a snake sanctuary where I guess they have a lot of wild snakes. Uh, that should be interesting. And uh, sorry if I look a little sad, I just found out that this uh, puppy that I really liked in uh, this restaurant next to where I was staying just passed away, so I'm a little shaken up. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah. And this is from a cobra, right? Yes. From two years? Two years ago. Was it like a wild cobra? Yeah, a black one cobra. So like first snake. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can you do it? Oh, can you take it? That was fucking terrifying. The things I do for YouTube. Yeah, you will take care. Sure, sure. Trinket, huh? Trinket. No, 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 don't wait, don't wait. Weena. Seconds or something, okay? Hmm? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, I wouldn't. 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 Do these have poisonous fangs? Yeah. All of these are poisonous. Mm. So if they like hit you, then you're like, you have to go to the you hospital. Can, can, can. Apparently these snakes are actually very poisonous. So I feel like this is pretty dangerous. And what if they hit me? Safe. You think so? Sure. He's saying it's safe, but I don't know. Oh, oh fuck. Okay, that's it for the snake experience in Sri Lanka. Not gonna lie, I was freaking terrified when that python was on me. I think after that it just got like progressively less scarier. I just got like desensitized to the fear. But that's it from here from the snake farm. I think that's it for this video. So if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more videos by me feel free to follow my page or subscribe to my channel. And if you want real-time updates feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'll catch you guys in the next video from somewhere else in Sri Lanka.